Hey guys, Jay here with HDJ Custom Wraps. So we just finished a really big project. Um, I've done, I think I did a walk around video. I'm not sure which one you'll see first because I'm bad about posting. But this was for the uh, the Dodge Jeep Wrangler uh, dealership on Fulton. Uh, they had actually sold this vehicle and basically sold the wrap with it. So they, the customer paid for it. It got sent to me and I just took care of it. A lot of work went into this. It looks amazing. It's a custom uh, camo print um, with on a, uh, what is it? 2021 Jeep uh, Gladiator. So let me flip the video and we'll do a walk around. I'll tell you everything I did and hope you guys enjoy the video. So here it is. This is a printed, what's this called? Uh, desert uh, camo. This was printed from Metro Styling, and this was in a gloss. So, if anyone's ever done Jeeps, you know these are a lot of work to take off. It doesn't look like a lot. It just looks like, okay, some hinges, some little a door, uh, you know, a mirror. No, way, way more stuff. Uh, both these fenders had to come off. Uh, let's see, let's go through it. It's got all these little bolts in it, like all over the place on top that had to come off so the hinges actually had to be removed and painted black so that kind of sucked um this right here was its own little piece we had to uh, wrap that these had to be taken off and painted black all those pieces had to be removed uh this piece right here we actually did in a satin black just to kind of conform with the roof because the roof obviously did not get wrapped uh but with the with the the, the uh why am I stuttering here? I'm just so excited about this wrap, you guys. I just, I can't talk. Um, the hinges. So to wrap this right, once they were painted and put back on, we actually had to go through and remove the hinge again, wrap the door with no hinges on it, and then rewrap it. So that was kind of uh, challenging. Uh, there's my little sticker I threw on. But again, those had to come off. And again, as you see, this flows fender, all the way through the bed one solid piece uh, a lot of work had to be done we actually did just kind of a little custom thing i i cleaned this up pretty good and i tried to add and i what i tried to do is i tried to make how this camel comes down i tried to flow it into here this wasn't one piece i found a piece matched it to make it look right just to kind of make it look like it it flowed into it um that's kind of the extra little detail and stuff we did and then I actually tried to, because again, when you do the trunk, you can't, you can't follow the scheme of everything, you, uh, the, the, no, the bit, uh, tailgate. You can't follow the scheme of everything. But what I tried to do is I tried to find a piece that matched up a little bit to here. So as you walk it, it kind of looks right. And then this, it actually, because it's so low, your eye almost misses it because of how it is. And then you flow around the side and it's the same, same thing, same concept all the way through. And then the thing about it is this has to be wrapped separate because of how it is. It can't, it's too hard to try to wrap through it. So this, I actually, again, tried to match up different pieces of what it, of what the camel was. And even though it doesn't fully match, it kind of flows because of how it is, but I didn't want to really overlap into anything that shouldn't have been. It's actually underneath says Rubicon. Uh, so it's, that's kind of like we embossed it from what was already there and in the front, we even had to wrap the lower area down here. Tremendous amount of work. Tremendous, tremendous. And again, same thing with this one. We had to try to find a piece that kind of flowed with the scheme of like what was going on already. So that's it. So again, this was a lot of work. Uh, really cool. I've never actually done a printed camo. I've actually made my own camo, but I've never done a printed. So it was... Um, it was interesting to say the least. But let's do one more little walk around so you guys can see this thing. If you're in Sacramento, you'll probably see this thing driving down the street. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep my little decals on the window. Hopefully they do. If they don't, at least for the video and maybe you know, 10, 15 people might see it. But at least this way the customer doesn't have to constantly, just, you know, they're asking who did it, who did it? And say, oh, just, hey, just look in the window. The, they, they put a sticker on it. I wanted to actually cut a, a, a little decal and put it on the back window, but it was big and I felt the customer probably wouldn't have been happy with it because 
I actually haven't been able to talk to the customer. This is going straight to the dealership. Let's see how much this thing costs. So this thing retailed at 62 plus a dealer markup. So this thing was about $70,000 plus uh, 4200 for the camo. So, I mean, he's into this thing a nice 75000 So, um, I mean, he's going to love it. This thing is awesome. It really looks good. This thing was solid gray when, when I first got it. But, okay, you guys, I really appreciate the follow. Uh, please comment below. Comment. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a thumbs up or a like button on, on, on uh, YouTube. But whatever it is, just, you know, do it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. button. Uh, tell a friend, family. Who, who knows? Go into the go into 7-Eleven and say, tell your friends, say, hey, sign up. This guy does awesome work. Again, really appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys on, see if I can get my shadow in here. No, I can't. I was going to do the peace in the shadow on the next video. Peace.